The class of 68. Listen to this thing rumble. That's what a motorcycle is supposed to sound like. This is one outstanding original paint survivor, original matching numbers diamond. They don't come any better than this, I'll tell you that much. This thing runs fantastic. Little wheelie machine. This is a motorcycle that has some serious provenance. The jacket I'm wearing is a Richard Nixon Jackson the jacket, a 67 Grand National Champion, 68 Grand National Champion on this motorcycle, not this exact one, but one just like it, a 650 Triumph, and also the 68 Daytona National Champion, and in the Hall of Fame, this is Gary Nixon jacket. This is a jacket very similar to what he would have raced in back in the day. Um, just an outstanding, outstanding original survivor. Two years, this motorcycle will be 50 years old. Action, it's 56 years old, so in four years, this bike will be 60 years old. I absolutely love the color. This is the original factory paint, original matching numbers. It's 100% correct, original, right down to the saddle. Um, just an absolutely outstanding machine. The um, bike came to us, it had been sitting for a little while. We gave it what we'll call a full preservation service and uh, major tune-up. In detail, we have a total of 55 hours of shop labor plus parts. We've got a, a $10,000 work order on it, uh, just over 10,000 with tax, um, plus the cost of the bike. So it's, it's, not, it's, uh, it's not gonna be cheap, but it's, it's gonna be worth it because these are just really hard to come by. Original paint, this has the factory luggage rack on the tank here, um, the original factory, neat bolsters on it. The, everything on this bike cosmetically is original. Uh, some of the running gear obviously is new. We just put a brand new set of Dunlop tires on it. And I'll get into all that in a second. But before I do that, I want to do a riding demo because that's where the magic is on this bike. This is a, a world, world class, classic vintage motorcycle. It's an investment quality classic. Let's let the bike do the talking. <laughs> my good fellows is an outstanding motorcycle it's the essence of motorcycling 
turn signals weren't required back then. They weren't a thing. Uh, this is a basic bare minimum necessities to get you out in the open road. Keep it light, keep it fast, keep it simple. And this is a fantastic piece. If you wanna see what these are like on the track, go on YouTube punching Gary Nixon Triumph 1968, 1969, they have, they have videos of them racing these. Uh, in the TT races, they would jump these bikes. They were, like I said, very similar, uh, if not the same frame and engine cases, just set up with uh, factory, uh, you know, built motors. And they're fantastic. I had I had a, a Gary Nixon replica bike um, with one of his racing engines in them and oh, fantastic motorcycles. This one here is about as mint and original as you'll ever find a 60-year-old motorcycle. Sure, there's a little patina on the paint, but that's more proof that things uh, an original. The saddle's even the original, which is absolutely freaking remarkable. I've got a um, seven-page work order here, which we've synergized down to the basics. I'll just read you the basics on it. Uh, a beautiful, beautiful, original, unrestored 650 Tiger. Matching numbers, virtually 100% correct. Triumph's tried and true big twin, the gold standard in road bikes of the period. This Tiger has been very well preserved. It's a product of decades of uh, continuous improvement of Triumph's parallel twin. They had continuously improved the design. And this one, these were awesome and it still is. It's a showstopper, it's ready to ride. We just invested uh, uh, 55 hours of shop labor, plus parts. Um, it's got new spark plugs, new battery, new battery cables. We cleaned, prepped and painted the battery tray. Um, Clean and set the ignition points. The compression test perfect at 125 PSI. The fuel tank was drained, flush, inspected, and cleaned. We installed new fuel pet cocks, new fuel lines. The carburetor was removed, disassembled, and cleaned inside and outside. It has a new OEM AML carb repair kit. We reassembled and adjusted and tuned the carb. We're running VP94 non-ethanol fuel. The oil tank was removed and scrubbed clean on the inside. A new oil tank filter screen was installed and new oil tank gasket. It's got fresh 2850 engine oil. The oil pump was checked for proper operation. It has the ex exhaust system that was on this bike, the original. We had another 60s Triumph in stock that had some baloney mufflers on it and I, this had the original pipes on it, but there were, the, the chrome was a, l a little worn on it. So I said, you know what? Let's put a brand new set of pipes on this one. And we used the other set on another Triumph, not nearly as nice as this one, but they, they were, they're okay. But these are spectacular. These are the uh, reproduction pipes. The chrome is beautiful on them. The, uh, everything on the uh, exhaust system is brand new, including the exhaust gaskets. So um, the uh, engine was um, started, run, and tuned. Uh, it has a new throttle cable on it. We lubed and adjusted all the control cables. The whole front end of the bike came off of it and it's got new fork boots, as you can see. Uh, new top fork bushings. Uh, we cleaned the fork internals, cleaned and rebuilt the forks. We cleaned, prepped and painted the fork lowers. So the forks, it, it handles like, a, like it did brand new because everything's been rebuilt. Um, let's see, I got my gloves on. It's hard to switch pages here. Uh, has new fork seals and oil, has a new front wheel hub cover with new screws, and a brand new Dunlop K70 325 by 19 front tire and tube. You see, show them the hairy nubs on it, it's brand spanking new. Looks like the original, that's the proper tire to put on a Triumph. Uh, the original tires were, as you would guess, um, hard as a rock, so the, we replaced them with those. The Dunlop K70 on the rear is a, the correct proper 400 by 18 size, is exactly what should be on this bike. We cleaned, serviced, and deglazed the front brake shoes and hub. Uh, we put new rear brake shoes on it with new brake shoe springs and if you zoom in on that chain you'll see it's a new 530 top of the line regina we also I, I put the gold chain on there because to me it makes something that's normally greasy and ugly a work of art and it just it matches the gold pinstriping on the bike beautifully so um we clean it cleaned and regreased the speedo drive uh went through all the electronics on it any electrical issues were diagnosed and, and dialed in everything works beautifully um tire pressure set gave it a hundred point check over and this thing runs freaking awesome matter of fact i just wrote a 77 bundle and when i fired this thing up something about the single carb classics they just rev so easy and so free uh, the bonville is good for about five miles an hour faster on the top end. That's what I call the Bonville, Bonville Salt Flats, right? But that's about the only place I prefer the twin carb because down low, uh, zooming around town, coming up down the driveway, down the back roads, this thing responds beautifully and uh, it's carbureted beautifully and timed perfectly and with, a, with a, a nice tight top end. This thing's an absolute diamond. Um, then I went down to the detail shop. I was given a full, what we call rotisserie detail. I had John Lee, one of my senior techs, has been with me for 17 years now, uh, actually coming on 18, go through this bike and he gave it the white glove treatment. The original paint was carefully carnauba waxed and cleaned, but uh, no paintbrush touched the, the, the tins anywhere on this motorcycle. This is all original paint. It was carefully hand washed and degreased 
the, the original factory tins were buffed and Carnuba Pace Wax put on them, preserved the originality of it. Uh, these are the original pinstripes on there, original paint, original badges. Um, as mentioned, the fork lowers were repainted. All the chrome was polished. All the aluminum was polished. All the, all the chrome was and aluminum was polished and clean. This engine case right here was polished. You see how it shines beautifully? Um, really nice looking. So, and of course, the sprockets were clean. The rear wheel was clean. The entire bike was given what we call a rotisserie detail from the bottom of the center stand to the top of the bars. Every square inch of it has been clean and polished. Uh, that took John 13 hours. So the bike looks it's ready, it's rolling into the New England Motorcycle Museum. As soon as this video is done, it'll be on display. The museum opened last weekend. This, make no mistake, this is a museum quality piece. It's an original. I'd rather have this than a repainted one. Uh, lipstick on a pig, whatever you want to call it. You don't know what you're getting once, they're, once they've been repainted. Original paint classics are where it's at. That's what the collectors want. That's what I want. I'm the museum curator and owner. Um, I've got a, a large collection of vintage Triumphs in there and uh, I've uh, been a fan of the of, of the brand since I was a child. My dad bought one of Daytona 500 in 1972. Then my brother got a 77, uh, 750, and I ended up getting that 500 uh, as my first street bike when I was 16. I actually got arrested riding it when I was 15, but that's another story. <laughs> uh, before I got my license, I was, couldn't wait. But um, just a beautiful piece. All the rubbers are super nice on it. Uh, the passenger pegs, they have the Triumph logos on it, the Kickstarter, the... Um, the pegs, the, the shifter, the shifter knobs, everything's, uh, I'll write everything up on the eBay ad. It'll be listed on eBay at auction. Um, like I said, we've got a $10,000 work order plus the cost of the bike. So this is, this is going to be expensive, but it's gonna be worth it. So if I seem excited, I am, I was just thrilled. As soon as I fired this thing up, man, and I think rev so freely and, um, the joy, the, the joy that I had on this test ride, I have the best job in the world. It's mon it's Monday morning. Mm -hmm. It's sunny spring day here in Connecticut. Just got back from Daytona, and that was my job to ride this bike in a 70 Bonville. Um, I'm blessed, no doubt. Uh, I just love what I do. My, my daughter and my son are inside the shop. Mm -hmm. Christy, my wife, was here earlier, and, and we're, doing, uh, we're doing God's work here, man, with these classics, and I feel blessed to do it, man. Um, if you have any questions about this bike, give us a call at 860-454-7024. We actually can get this financed through Freedom Road. They, they finance classics at excellent rates. Ship it anywhere in the world for you. Leave it on display in the museum as long as you like if you buy this bike. Um, this is a... This is a bike I would sell to a friend or family member knowing they're getting an outstanding motorcycle that's uh, in a, a better investment than a 401k. This is guaranteed to go up in value. It's an absolute diamond. Thanks for watching. God bless America.